you guys, Aimaster Master here, and I'm going to talk about the secrets in Animal Crossing, the GameCube version. After this video, you should be able to know a little bit more about Animal Crossing. Okay, let's get started. The first and most common secret is the Money Rock. This is where you can go around town and hit rocks with your shovel or axe and hope to get around 13,000 bells. Once a day you can search for this infamous rock, but beware how you hit the rock because that will determine how much bells comes out of it. The surroundings such as buried items, trees, and cliffs do make the difference when you watch out for them. The next secret is Feng Shui. This will get a separate video on its own, but I will talk about the basics of it. Feng Shui is the placement of furniture in a house to receive better fortune, or in this case, more money and luck for your character. One of the more common secrets is the inventory screen. This is a place where you can switch your background by using a shirt that you have in your inventory. To do this, just grab the shirt and move it to a hidden selection and drop it. You should see a change in the background of your inventory, as well as another shirt that was your old background. Note that you can only do this in the inventory screen. I have tried this with other screens, such as uh, fish bug screens and the design screen, and that cannot be done. As mentioned before, you can have your character get a different tone on his or her skin. This is known as getting a tan on the character. Several ways to do this is to play the game for hours non-stop, although it is noticeable for playing a few hours at the animal island, thus getting a tan. Or don't play for a long while and your character will become more pale. Effects will wear off eventually, although play styles vary between players that play Animal Crossing. Did you know that there are four Animal Crossing games before Animal Crossing Wild World? The Butsa no More Animal Forest is the first game in the series for the Nintendo 64. Then a new Animal Crossing game, the second game in the series, was ported to the newly released GameCube in December 2001. This enhanced port had updates and new features that wasn't possible with the limitations of the Nintendo 64's hardware, although still had the same name, The Butsa no More, for Japan only. The third game in the series is the familiar game known as Animal Forest Plus, or also called Animal Crossing Population Growing, released everywhere else including Japan and America. Then Nintendo re-released the series of Animal Crossing's fourth title called Animal Forest E+. You can get items from villagers through several ways, either playing games with them or asking to buy their furniture. Another way is to send a letter attempting to have a conversation with them and send a letter to them. Make sure that your little footnote has the same saying as the villager you are trying to communicate with. An example is, if the villager is saying cool, then put cool as your footnote before sending the letter. Several days later, you should receive a letter from them along with a gift. The Golden Shovel is an Animal Crossing secret that many know, although if a lot of people know, then it's not really a secret now, is it? To get the golden shovel, you need to buy a second shovel and find a shining spot in the ground. Dig this shining spot, and if it looks like a place where you can plant a sapling, bury the shovel. A golden sapling should appear and grow for four days. After four days, shake the tree and the golden shovel should fall from the golden tree. A good way to make money is to do this secret called the Islander trick. Here are the steps that you need to do in order for this to work. Step 1. Plug in your Game Boy Advance and go to your island with nothing in your inventory but fruit, as much as possible. Step 2. Once you get there, drop all the fruit on the ground, make sure your Game Boy is on. Step 3. When Captain asks if you want to save your island, say yes. Step 4. On your Game Boy, as you return to your town, knock on your islander's door, press A, and pick up or drop all the fruit in front of him or her. This will cause them to eat it, and after eating the first two, he or she will drop bags of money, which can contain up to 30,000 bells. Step 5. On the GameCube, go back to your island and pick up all the bags of bells. The money tree is a common secret that is similar to the golden shovel secret, but is slightly harder to do because sometimes the bells won't grow on the tree. But if you are lucky, then you will see the bells. To do this, just find and dig a shining spot on the ground. And, if it looks like a place where you can plant a sapling, bury money there. Now the hard part, considering the landscape can be very tricky. You have to have lots of knowledge, or luck, in Animal Crossing to pull this off. You would have to know if it rained yesterday, or if it is not too close to something else like a rock or another tree. After the four days, and depending on how much you put into the shining hole, 
you will triple the bells of what you put into it. Did you know that it took Animal Crossing three extra years before the release in America and Europe, even after it was in English thanks to an Australian release? There are secret songs from KK Slider. Here is the four hidden songs. KK Song, I Love You, Two Days Ago, Animal Crossing Title Screen. Note, there is no air check. There is four songs that can be heard, although you only get three of them. The Animal Crossing title screen can only be heard if you make a request mistake while requesting a song from KK Slider. Did you know that KK Slider, aka Totakiki, has a total of 75 songs, up to the Wii version? But not only that, KK Slider has a song called KK Song, which is the famous song hidden in other games such as Mario Paint, all the way to Wii Sports maybe even further than that. There is an entire list of games that have this hidden song, but that is for a different video. Rockin' KK is another song from a different Nintendo game called Earthbound, when you fight the hippies as an enemy. There is a Mr. Rossetti appearance while listening to KK Slider at 8.45pm. This can happen in any song that is playing. Did you know that Mr. Rossetti is an assist trophy in Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Between 6 a.m. and 7 a.m. you can catch Officer Copper doing morning exercises. Even during the morning he is up protecting your town. Does he ever sleep? Trees are very picky on where they want to live in your town, so picking the right trees to plant in your town could be a challenge. Just follow this secret and you won't have to worry about that problem. Here is a tree planting secret. Coconut trees like the southern part of town, evergreen trees like the northern part of town, regular trees grow anywhere in town. Of course, with some common sense and a good eye, and you don't need to worry about planting trees as often. You can talk to Pete at 9am or 5pm by the mailbox. This is interesting because sometimes he might hint at something between him and Pelly, along with Phyllis and his job problems. Rolling over multiple beds is a commonly known secret, but yet not many players know about it because not many spend their time in their house and roll on beds all day. But just in case you don't know, put two or more beds together side by side and your character can roll on the beds to his or her heart's content. How could we be talking about Animal Crossing without talking about the movie? There is an 87 minute film, or anime if you so wish to call it, that features Animal Crossing. This is a Japanese-only film that can be watched with a simple YouTube search. Look up Animal Crossing Movie. This movie has more things to deal with the DS version of Animal Crossing, but it is Animal Crossing related, so it must be noted here. That, and not many people know about this. There is a weird glitch known as the No Eyes Glitch, or the Gyroid Face Glitch, which is not really a glitch, but people have been calling it as such. To do this, you need a memory card, and you need to travel on that memory card. While your character is traveling, start the game up and select your character that is still traveling in your memory card. This should start your game with your character having a face that looks like a gyroid. It is scary for the first time seeing this, especially if you have no idea what is going on. To fix this, just return back to your town from your memory card that is currently traveling. Side note. There are two ways to travel to a friend's town. One way is to use one memory card and travel to someone else's GameCube with Animal Crossing data. The other way is to do it on the same GameCube with two memory cards and travel in that way. The gyro face glitch works both ways. One way requires you to start up the game while still traveling, while the other way is to reset the GameCube to get this glitch respectively. There are some unfair secrets such as the time travel secret. I only use this if there is a major problem with any of my Animal Crossing recordings. Plus, it is more of a cheat than a secret anyway. This has to be noted because many people have been calling it a secret when it really is a cheap way to go through the game. This is probably used by other people to fill up the museum or finish collections. That concludes this video, and I hope this has interested you in the secrets in Animal Crossing. This is A Master A Master, signing out.